Hey there, James here, and I'm going to walk you through how to use the new DepthKit Studio Unity expansion package to load multi-camera DepthKit Studio captures into Unity. So first, we need to import the DepthKit Studio expansion package. So here I've created a new HDRP project. So go to the package manager, and then in this plus sign, I go add packages from disk. And I'll browse the location that I downloaded my DepthKit Studio Expansion Package folder. I'm working now with the Phase 5 version that just came out on the 19th of April. And I'll start by adding the core package. So double click on core and double click on the package.json. Wait for that to import. To see that it imported successfully, I can go to uh, inspector here, I can go to in project and see that under custom depth kit core has been imported. The core has to be the first one that you import and they have to be imported in order. I'll show you what happens if you import one out of order. For example, if I go straight to, let's say the depth kit studio shader graph, you see, I'll get an error adding package and it'll say unable to add package uh, due to missing dependencies, invalid dependencies, or related test package. So that means you'll see this error when you don't import uh, the packages in the correct order. The, refer to our documentation to show to see the order to, of import, and I'll quickly go through importing them now. Great, now I have my packages imported. You'll note because I'm using HDRP, I need the DepthKit Studio shader graph packages. Same would be true if I was using URP. If I'm just using the built-in render pipeline, I can stop at DepthKit Studio, which has the uh, prefabs for the built-in render pipeline. But I need the shader graph in order to be able to show DepthKit Studio clips inside of HDRP or URP. All right, so next thing I'll do is uh, import the prefabs for the DepthKit Studio shader graph, which give me prefabs to start adding clips to my scene. Okay, so I've imported that. Now you can see that under samples, DepthKit Studio shader graph, I have uh, a set of prefabs and I'll use these to begin adding clips to my scene. But first what I need to do is actually add uh, some footage. So I'll go back to the top level folder and I'll create a new folder called DepthKit clips just to stay organized. And okay, now that we have our clips folder, I'm going to copy in assets. So these assets are uh, a three camera capture and it includes a, a metadata file, a video file, and a poster frame. Please see our encoding guide for how to create these assets out of DepthKit. So I'll copy them into the clips folder. There we go. And now I wanna make a prefab variant to hold this clip. So I'll go back to samples, DepthKit Studio Shader Graph, and go into the prefabs folder. And on the DepthKit Clip plus Studio Shader Graph look prefab, I'm going to make a variant of this prefab so that we keep the original intact. So under create, we'll go to prefab variant, and then I'll just let it be the variant name. I'll rename this shortly. And I'll copy that into my DepthKit clips folder. So I'll make a var I'll make a variant of the prefab for every clip that I want to create. And uh, once I've created that prefab variant and copied it into the clips folder, I'll give the prefab the same name as the DepthKit clip in question. So to stay organized, there we go. And now on this clip uh, in the prefab, I'm going to add uh, the references to the asset. So here we go. Uh, you can see in my depth kit clip, I have uh, the settings here where it needs a metadata and a poster frame. So let me go ahead and add those two. And now in my video player, uh, I'll add a reference to the video clip. Great, now it's set up and ready for playback and I can add that to my scene. And voila, DepthKit is showing. So immediately you can see that uh, I get a DepthKit clip which is showing the poster frame. It's very exciting. And if I go and I hit play, 
that clip will play. So on, you'll first notice that there's some uh, little issues. It looks pretty good, but it's not perfect. There's some stuff here, there's some holes below here. So for the next part of the tutorial, we're gonna go through how to refine your surface reconstructions for your depth kit clips. So check out that next part, but this concludes the first video in the tutorial. Thanks for watching.